ESPN. Yes, he's the Miller Light player spotlight. Before we came out here, you got a chance to meet one of the great sackers in the history of Minnesota Vikings football, Jared Allen. You remember him? Never heard of him. <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, Jared, Jared obviously had a million sacks with, <laughs> with the team. Uh, Daniil also having a very good season, as Hobie just said. Uh, when you get to the quarterback and sack the quarterback, I mean, none of us are ever going to do that. What's that like? I mean, it's just a, it's a good overall feeling to you know that you just beat your guy and you sack him and you're just like, oh, finally. Yeah. I mean, it might take a whole game to get to him, but, you know, just the feeling of just getting him down on the ground of just watching a week of film against the guy you're going against, just... Implementing the game plan and just beating them, you just feel a sense of relief, just sacking the dude. Now, conversely, when you go to New England and it's basically impossible to get to Tom Brady because he's going to go boom, 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 throw. How frustrating is that? I mean, it, it, it's really frustrating, but you can only control what you can control. So it's all about just keep on continuing to rush and just chopping wood. So eventually, one of us might get there, but we didn't get there that game. So was there a was there a point in the Lions game when you guys had ten sacks? Where you actually felt bad for Matthew Stafford? Uh, no, we wanted more. We wanted more sacks. It was a team so. record. Yeah, it was. Most in the history of a pretty good team. Yeah, it was really surprising for us, but you know, it was a good game plan. We we knew what we had to do for that game, and we went out and we executed. Now, uh, Daniil obviously is very good at football. Are, are are there things that you're not good at? Like, can you cook? I can cook. You can cook. What's I, your favorite meal? Um, rice and peas and oxtail. Very nice. It's a Jamaican dish, but mom, she always cooks. And yeah. She taught it to me, so I cook that sometimes. Can you sing? No. <laughs> if it was yes, then you know we would have had to ask you. Oh, I already know. Can you dance? No. You can't dance? No. How can you not dance? I think there's a, there's a height limit to dancing, and I'm too tall to dance. <laughs> uh, it was tough losing to Seattle, but seriously, in watching it back, the defense played great, don't you think? Uh, definitely. You know, we, we knew what kind of game it was going to be. Um, we had to go out there and focus in on what we had to do and had the mentality of it was going to be a physical game. So we had to just go out there and just execute our game plan. Now, uh, with Miami, what, what's Miami's offense look like from what you've seen this week? Well, from what I've seen so far, they have a good running game. Um, two great backs, uh, Frank Gore and uh, Kenyon Drake. Um, Gore, he's a downhill runner. He's able to fall for it no matter what, whoever tackles him. Yeah. And you have uh, Drake who has the ability to run around the edge. Um, and he and catches it, it. Yeah, he does. And then you have um, the quarterback. He's back. Um, Tannehill. He's, Tannehill. He's able to make plays with his um, yeah. with his arm down the field. Think you can get him a couple of times? Uh, with with the game plan, we should be able to. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, last one. Do do you truly, in your heart, feel the Vikings will make the playoffs? I mean, it's all about just going in there, just focusing in on what we have left. You know, whatever we have left is right there in front of us. You know, it's all about just going out there and continuing to have the same mentality that we have on defense this past week. Yeah. and executing what we, we need to execute on offense, defense, and special teams. Fantastic season. Thank you very much. Thanks. Daniil Hunter, everybody.